Hello everybody and welcome to today's video looking at the symbolic meaning of the windmill in George Orwell's Animal Farm. The windmill has a variety of symbolic meanings and these change as events in the novella unfold. Initially the windmill symbolises Snowball's plans to improve the life of the pigs. Once Snowball is driven off the farm however, it becomes a symbol of how Napoleon psychologically manipulates the animals and controls them for his own gain. At first, Napoleon opposes Snowball's plans for the windmill. His later change of mind reflects Stalin, changing his mind after becoming a dictator when he introduced the first five-year plan to modernise the Soviet Union's infrastructure. With his rhetorical skills, Squealer defends Napoleon from the suspicions of the animals, just as the Soviet Union employed propaganda to justify Stalin's decisions. The failure of the windmill in chapter 6 becomes a metaphor for the poor management skills of the pigs who did not see the need for thicker walls. By extension, this is a metaphor for failures of the Soviet government. The collapse of the windmill parallels the world witnessing the industrial incompetence of the Soviets. Stalin's five-year plans for agriculture collapsed and resulted in millions of people starving to death. On the farm, the humans are watching the animals, just as the world watched the struggling Soviet Union. The pigs conceal the declining food supplies, just as the Soviet Union attempted to conceal their problems from the world. The windmill therefore becomes a yardstick by which to measure the success of animalism. Animal Farm needs to show the world that the windmill, and hence animalism, is a success if it is to be taken seriously by the outside world. When the windmill first collapses, the pigs play on the idea of the windmill and the farm's enemies to control the animals. Snowball becomes a scapegoat. By blaming an external force, the pigs stop the animals from examining too closely the internal workings of the farm and questioning the pigs' competence. This mirrors Stalin's use of Trotsky, who came to symbolise enemy forces. This continued even after Stalin had Trotsky assassinated in Mexico. Squealer and Napoleon use Snowball to their own advantage to represent the pigs as the saviours of the animals. The storm's destruction of the windmill provides Napoleon with the opportunity to turn events to his advantage by positioning himself as a firm, decisive leader, and the windmill becomes an important symbol around which to unite the animals against a common enemy. At the same time, it symbolises the exploitation of the gullible animals. In Chapter 8, Napoleon attempts to use the windmill's symbolic significance to boost his public image by naming it Napoleon Mill. Giving it this name, he's taking credit for the construction of the mill, despite it being the result of the collective work of the animals. It's worth remembering the original idea for the windmill was Snowballs, who envisaged a windmill to improve the quality of the animals' lives. This heightens the contrast when we see that Napoleon exploits the windmill for self-aggrandizement. He therefore uses his name to violate the principles of animalism. Later in the same chapter, when Frederick blows up the windmill in the Battle of the Windmill, this action symbolises the death of animalism. Orwell is making the point that Snowball's dream of a society founded on equality is now absolutely impossible. By chapter 10, we see the completed and operational windmill, but its original symbolism has changed once more. It now symbolises trade relationships between the animals and the humans. Instead of generating electricity for the animals as was originally intended, it is now used to mill corn and generate profits for the pigs. At this point in the novella, the reader is shown how the ideology of animalism cannot work in practice because, like communist ideology, it does not consider human or animal ambition and greed. Nevertheless, the success of the windmill also comes to represent the ironic triumph of a totalitarian regime in which the pigs now have complete power. It represents the pigs' betrayal of the animals, whose lives they had originally wanted to better. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Everything I go through in this video comes from Mr. Bruff's Guide to Animal Farm, which also contains analysis of the symbolic meaning of the farm and the barn. It was written by Kerry Lewis and edited by me, and you can pick up a copy through following the links in the description.